A typical boning room is set up around a maximum speed of 10 carcasses processed every minute. So that's six seconds per carcass. Doing all these cuts is not possible in six seconds, but you want to be, you know, 12 seconds is the next best thing. You can put two cells together, and that's still a big advantage for the, um, for the industry. One of the challenges with the four-quarter system is the variation of the product. The four-quarter can range from about um, three kilograms up to 12 kilograms or more. So this is a laser profiler. Um, standard co commercial off the shelf, relatively high end. We have to deal with trying to cover a reasonably large, large volume. It's not stuff sitting on top, top of a conveyor belt. It's um, typically about, you know, we're looking about 500 millimeters across both ways and a bit of depth. So we need a relatively large unit. Um, they basically project a sheet of light out from one end and a camera watches where that, that laser line intersects the product. And we move, as we move the product through, we get a series of profiles that let us build up the whole shape of the, um, of the animal. They're very accurate, uh, typically well under a millimeter accuracy, which is more than we need for the robot, but they are typically also slow. Um, we need to scan multiple sides of the animal, and to do that, we could just run the product past the scanner several different times. Instead, we actually take three different scanners, three different directions, and put them in the path of the robot as it heads towards the band source. There's no delay in the scanning, from scanning, as the robot goes from picking up the product to cutting it, all the scanning is done, all the analysis is done, and within a few seconds, the robot's ready to go. It doesn't have to stop, it can just go dive straight into it. The two different configurations of carcasses, strung and unstrung, have a different set of cuts required. So the vision system has to be able to cope with this and it can detect which sort of carcass it's looking at and calculate all the necessary cuts. So there's been a lot of work put into getting the speed up. We can't afford to spend any time on the scanning because it takes most of that time just to cut the product. The grey points you see on the screen is the data that came from the camera. The green lines are where we've found things like legs and necks and the blue planes are where we direct the bandsaw to cut. So the vision system lets us customise cuts for each product, maximising the productivity and the yield for the customer. We um, integrate real-time data from the robot with the incoming, um, the incoming scans from all three sides. The robot picks up the product, just moves straight through the scanners, and then straight onto the bandsaw, no stopping for anything. And that's how we achieve the 12-second goal.